Charlie, what's up, brother? How we doing? I've had a bit of a situation kind of uh, fall into my lap. It's not something that, you know, I asked for, but uh, it's here and I've got to deal with it concerning a good friend of mine. Um, and I just was looking for some advice from you about how I approach him about the situation and um, how our friendship should move on from where it is now. Cool, man. So go on. What What happened? Well, over this uh, past summer, uh, I found out from my fiance, who found out from his wife that he had been uh, soliciting sexually explicit pictures from uh, many other women other than his wife, some uh, of those including uh, minors. Come on, me, why? Yeah. Man. Uh, me and my fiance, we, we went to the police with it uh, a couple days after we found out. Hey, but, can I just stop you right there and say, absolutely. I'm grateful for you, dude. Thank you to you and your fiance for being people of character and doing hard things. Good for you, man. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm super thankful for her. She she really was cut and dry with this and was like, we need to go and shoot. Well, you're, hey, you're marrying she well, me my make friend. That tough decision. Hang on to her, man. That's a person of character that has zero tolerance for freaking evil people. All right, go ahead, brother. Sorry for cut you off. Go ahead, man. So oh, no, you went to the police. I know that was hard. It was uncomfortable. And then what happened? Uh, well, since our information is basically secondhand, everything we know came from uh, his wife. Right. Uh, there's nothing that's really been done about it. I mean, they took our statement, our report, uh, and what happened. But as far as I know, nothing's been uh, done with it. Okay. Uh, when did you make this report? Uh... This would have been back in Ju June. It okay. would have been back in June. Okay. So you made a report in June, and here you are just a few weeks into the new year. What's your question for me, man? So I, this is like one of my best friends. I was best man at his wedding. He was supposed to walk in my wedding, and we just we haven't addressed it, and I don't know how... I should confront him about this. Dude, homie, you're his best man. You confront this by going and banging on his front door. And you have been invited and earned the right to put your finger in his chest and say, dude, what in the world is wrong with you? What are you doing? What has happened to your brain and your spirit? Um, this is what best men are for, Charlie. Is confrontation. And it's for accountability. That's, yeah. that's, I mean, that's why he asked you to be his best man. Right. right. And, and so you, you have a responsibility to get active. You did the right thing. You called the police and that's the legal part of this. The friendship part of it, man, you are all up in his business about that. So, why, why is that hard for you? Why does that make you uncomfortable? I'm I'm not entirely sure. I just I don't want to have to deal with that conflict that I know that's going to be there cuz hey, they, I know they, I did Charlie, the right you're thing. not his friend then, man. He's not a friend to you. You're not a friend to him. Call it and then move on with your life. If you want to have relationships that are conflict free, you're never going to have relationships that are worth anything. I would con I would deeply suggest you postpone any sort of marriage plans you have because marriage is full of conflict. The best ones have a lot of conflict because man, that's, I mean, that's, that's what good deep relationships are all about is when the good times are good, they're good. And when they are rough, you ride or die together. And when somebody violates core values of this is of any human being man soliciting pictures of minors um from minors dude god almighty um and again you are right and there's something to think through you don't know it could have been his wife uh made up stuff got angry and fired up you did the right thing the investigation needs to be done by the police but man i'm telling you this if that had been my friend a uh, we would have done the same thing called the police you got to but B, man, I would have been at his house. I probably would have beat the cops there. 
because I take the accountability part of my friendship real, real seriously. And here's the deal, vice versa, whew, man, I would probably be more nervous to face the cops in that situation. I mean, I'm face my buddies in that situation than the cops because there'd be no quarter. They would probably shoot me before the police did. And so, again, has your friend not called you? Hadn't reached out to uh, you? It's just not been talked about at all. He doesn't know that I know. Basically. Man. So it's just so, hush, hush. So he's having this trouble in his marriage. Is he still married? Uh, yes. What's his, what's his wife doing about it? Man, I got all kind of questions now, man. This thing's just getting weirder and weirder. What's she doing oh, about it, it? Yeah, it's a bit of a train wreck. So initially, she was upset with him and left him, uh, obviously. But And so, hey, uh, we, we, the, the guy who you were the best man in their wedding, and he was the, he's going to be the best man in your wedding. God, I hope he's still not. He's going to be the best man in your wedding. He oh, didn't no, call he you when his wife left him? Uh, he did, uh, and we talked. Uh, I had known that he's had a, an addiction with pornography before, okay. um, and he had mentioned that as being part of it. But at this point, I had known, but he didn't uh, come out with me uh, with the the um, deeper part of it. He didn't come out to me with that. All right, Charlie, brother. I know you called me to ask me what to do with your friend and I'm turning this around on you. Your friends, I mean, if somebody's soliciting minors for nude photos from them, that, that's a class of person that we don't even need to discuss any further on this show. I think we all will be in agreement on that. And if you're listening to this show and you're not in agreement on that, like, no, that's cool, bro. Don't ever listen to the show again. Just find something else to listen to because you're an idiot. But I think we're all in agreement on that, right? All right. So the problem here in this situation, Charlie, is you. And I'm telling you that because I love you. But if you've got a best friend on planet Earth that you feel this uncomfortable about calling them out on something this big, they're not your friend, man. Either that or you have some deep character challenges that you're going to have to work through because you owe it to yourself. You owe it to that. The kids he was getting involved with, you owe it to your future partner. You owe it to him, man. If someone has entrusted you with their friendship, that's both good and bad. It's hard conversations and good conversations. And I've been a recipient of some hard, hard truths in my life from men who are close to me and women Good, good friends. And it has been ugly and painful and hard. And almost every single time, it's been a gift that I, I couldn't calculate how valuable that gift was. But what you need to do is call your friend and say, man, I haven't been honest with you. I've known about this for a long time. I called the cops on you, dude. And here's the thing. If it's not true, if it didn't happen, then the cops aren't going to find anything. And since 95% or whatever the crazy number is of people in this country look at pornography, the, the cops are going to roll their eyes. If he did, they do an investigation, then he's going to get busted, and he should. Okay, it's that simple. But you owe it to your friend, who was the best man in your wedding, and who was so close to you, you were going to have him in your wedding. You owe it to him to call him and be upfront with him, and to confront, to hold accountable. And in that process, man, you're with him, Right? You don't ab we don't abandon our friends, not like that. Um, but we don't gloss over it and just be like, oh, sweet, dude, cool, bro. No, man. Charlie, you, you got to step up here. Or he's not your friend, and you got to just walk away and let that sucker ride. But, man, we've got to have friends, guys and gals. we got to have friends. And that doesn't mean just people who surround us with good things that make us smell like flowers and roses, but who will tell us hard, hard truths about ourselves, who will um, 
show up at our front door when we need help and it will show up at our front door to put a size 12 boot in our face right in my fa- right in my mouth right in my teeth and man maybe i'm just a lucky guy man that i've got friends that will do that for me but charlie you need to be that guy if anybody out there has great close friends and they, they're like, ah, I don't want to get have that conflict. Have the conflict, man. That's what you're supposed to do. All right, I'm just going to go on. Thanks for the call, Charlie. Hey, here's the deal. Have this conversation, Charlie, and then call me back because I want to know how it goes. Um, it's probably not going to go well, but that's a good thing. This kind of conversation can't go well. Um, but let me know how it goes.